Hello and welcome to SCAN's eCampus. SCAN's eCampus is a gold approved learning partner of ACCA. On this channel, we bring you demo videos of different courses available at SCAN's eCampus. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notifications of additional videos and hit the like button. In this video, we will be covering the topic of lease or buy decision. So let's first of all see what is lease or buy decision. The decision over here is whether we should buy the asset or lease the asset is more cost effective. So typically speaking, it is actually a financing decision where we have to identify whether buying the asset is more cost effective or leasing it. For this purpose, the important points of calculation are, first of all, what should be the appropriate discount rate to be used in such situations? The appropriate discount rate will always be post-tax cost of borrowing. Now, what is the post-tax cost of borrowing? It is the rate given by the bank loan in the question, of course. And remember, we have to make this post-tax. The interest rate should be post-tax. So if it is a pre-tax, then we have to adjust it for the taxation. So for example, if the rate of interest is 10% pre-tax, that is before tax, and the corporation tax is 30%, we will make it post-tax by using the formula interest rate into 1 minus t, where t represents the rate of tax. So in this example, the rate of interest was 10% and the corporation tax was 30%. So post-tax interest rate will be 7%. So the first thing to remember in this one was that the discount rate will be post-tax cost of borrowing and we have discussed how to calculate that. Now in such situations, there will be two different situations whether we will be buying the asset using the bank loan or by leasing. What we will do, we will calculate the NPV on both the situations that is on the bank loan as well as on the finance lease and we will choose the one which is more cost effective. Now, if you look at the cash flows in the bank loan, the three important cash flows that should be included are the cost of investment, the written down allowance, tax relief on the investment and the residual value. These are the three most important cash flows that you will be preparing once you are calculating the NPV using the bank loan. Similarly, in the finance lease situation, the important cash flows are lease rentals. Now there are two characteristics that you may find in case of lease rentals and these are that most of the time that these lease rentals are in advance and they are consistent cash flows up to a certain period of time that means they are in annuity. You also need to note that the tax relief in case of leasing will be on annual rentals and there won't be any tax relief on the written down allowance or the capital allowance. We will calculate the NPV for both the situations and the situation that will give the least answer will be our decision. If you like this video, visit our website www.scansecampus.com to purchase the complete course at affordable prices. Register today at no cost and access our free 10-day trial.